Me actually in Russia, I would think it'd be very dark and Every social media account that they have, that's where they're, they're all being posted. So it's, um, the Facebook ones are the ones that get the most views. This one has like 1.7. So, so you heard a little bit about what Ashley Klinger does. She's in real life a Boeing 777 captain at Emirate. And when you look at her, and you look at some of the pictures I posted, and say, you know, fashionistas and fashion queens, it, it, it's just unbelievable. Uh, but here she is, and of course with her is Sylvia Obori, our own Ugandan fashion queen. She's here doing her usual class act, and she brought the roof down last night with the opening show on the runway. So anyone who has access to the Swahili Fashion Week uh, website, please do vote for her. She's up for Designer of the Year from East Africa. And we want that trophy to come home to Kampala with us. Yeah! Sylvia, how do you feel being back here in Dar es Salaam for the Fashion Week? Well, I'm very excited to be back here. The last time I was here was in 2000. Yes. It was my very first collection and it was part of the, the Emnet Face of Africa. Yeah. So being back... And it helped you to launch yourself as a yes. brand. Yes. Straight out of school to Dar es Salaam for the Face of Africa. I was back here in 2006, uh, collaborating again with uh, Mustafa, and I'm back here showcasing my uh, your latest, my latest collection. Someone from someone from Uganda yesterday told me that they don't see much of you in Uganda itself. Why is that? <laughs> I think I have done so much in Uganda that now I need to fly. I need to get out of the country and just uh, and and uh, promote the brand internationally. It, it, the brand needs to go out. Thank you. Talking of flying, Ashley, yeah. you yes. fly around the world. You have been to all the main fashion weeks. You have been to Milan very yes. recently. Very recent, uh, yes. What brought you to the Swahili Fashion Week in Dar es Salaam of all places? You know what? Actually, African fashion really interests me because I, I love bright colors and prints and the way that it's put together. It's just different than anywhere else in the world. So to be able to come and see it firsthand is, is really exciting. Have you ever flown yourself on a 777 to a place where you then went for a fashion week? Not yet, um, but I do plenty of shopping after I fly myself on a 777. <laughs> well, I can imagine that. In London, in Paris, <laughs> oh, wherever the 777s go these yeah, days, in New York. I have a large suitcase, yes. let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, and as crew, I believe you are sort of exempted from overweight. They don't well, charge you for... Kind of one of those, you know... Okay, little secrets. Know. We don't talk about that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sylvia, yes. you said you're spreading your wings into the region. Where else are you showcasing your collections now? This is East African community, of course, uh, Tanzania. Where else? I think I'm going to be doing the Kenya, um, the, the Fafa, I will be doing the Rwanda. Of course, I've been doing all the international fashion weeks. Um, and I think I'll be sort of hopefully doing uh, also the New York Fashion Week next year. But I thought uh, I should just do the region and then go on again to international week. The reason why I actually stopped doing all the big international fashion weeks was because you would do a fashion show and then you would get the orders and we would not be able to produce the orders. So I was, there was no point in me going out there and getting the orders. But now, 
I work with a, a, a very big community of women, uh, a big percentage of them actually that live with AIDS, uh, that are producing the, the garments that we do, the making, uh, we do, uh, we're very much into ethical fashion, we're creating bags that are recycled. So we're definitely, the brand is giving something back and creating a problem for the children. Oh, for, sorry, we're creating a problem for the women out there, yes. Okay, back to you, if I may. You write not exactly a fashion blog, but you are part of a group of professionals featured on the Emirates website. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. So it's actually a campaign that they've, they've promoted called Be There, and it's really about taking our passions traveling. So obviously mine is fashion, but we've got a whole group. We've got someone who's an adventurer and he goes out skydiving and heli skiing. We've got a foodie and he just eats his way through the world. Um, Does he show? Uh, well, he said he's gained a few kilos. Okay. There. Um, but yeah, so as a group, we kind of have a little something for everyone. And we've all gotten to travel to different locations. And we take our passion and we go and explore it in that country or that city and, and really kind of showcase it to everyone who wants to see it, everyone else around the world, maybe that can't visit there or hasn't been there yet. Is there a Dubai Fashion Week? There is. Uh, it's, it's emerging. It's not a fashion week, but they do like a fashion event every year. Okay. Um, it's just passed. So yeah, it's only it's only a few days, but they, they haven't officially set up a fashion week yet, but I'm hoping maybe soon. Okay, you live in Dubai. Yeah. Dubai, of course, has all these huge suburbs, little cities in their own right yeah. spring up. Yeah. Is there going to be a fashion city? There is a media city, there is a, a health city, there are all sorts of cities. Yeah, is they, there going to be they, a fashion city? Yeah, it's basically just kind of emerging now. It's, it's like up and coming, it's fashion, it's um, maybe a bit of music. It's kind of more of like a cultural center that has a lot of fashion and then they'll do a night where they do like just recently they had it was sneakers but with a DJ and everybody went and there was all these different um, kind of pop-up type markets okay um, and so they kind of theme it and everybody goes and, and sells their wares and stuff which is really cool. Sylvia back to you if I may. <laughs> yes. You are very happy. I'm extremely how, uh, how did you put your class act of last night together? Uh, my collection last night was called La Vie en Rose. And that uh, La Vie en Rose is a very famous French song. And uh, my, that's the whole inspiration was that, that uh, the collection is a very, very sophisticated, sensual, and uh, very elegant. Um, the, the whole inspiration is from the 1940s, where in the World War II in France, where women, when, when their men went away uh, during World War II, the women stayed home and they just created these beautiful gowns. So that's where the whole idea came from. Is there any inspiration from Casablanca by any chance? Because that was World War II as well, yeah. and she didn't stay at home. She obviously went across to Casablanca. <laughs> Not they really. They oh, yes. There is a little bit there, but mostly French. You can see the okay. colors, the, 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 the gloves, the little headpieces, and the elegancy of the whole uh, co collection. Uh, it was something unexpected, probably, out of an African designer. But I really loved the collection because it was something that could be on any runway anywhere in the world. So I felt like. I think uh, as African designers, we are stepping it up. We're doing, we're creating clothes that can be on any runway. It could have been in Paris. How did you feel when you stepped out on the runway and the applause blew you away? <laughs> I felt so good. I felt so good about it because I was kind of not sure if people would actually understand uh, the whole, basically the whole collection because I thought it was very modern, very European and not, you know, not, it didn't have any African inspiration to it. So I was uh, kind of divided, you know, what people would think, but I was overwhelmed with the reception and, and, and the reviews and, you know, for all the blogs. Including mine. Yes. Yes, thank you. Yes. That is on wolfganghtome.wordpress.com where you can read everything about Israeli Fashion Week this week and about all the various events which are taking place. Thank you. It was a pleasure talking to a real-life Boeing 777 captain. Uh, I know my viewers and readers will not believe a word I'm saying. And of course to our very own Sylvia Vori. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.